Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. My name's Chris and today we're gonna do a slightly different video. So for those of you who follow along the channel, you will have seen a video I did a while back, kind of over the winter time, about a four foot diameter, it's basically a culvert pipe that I bought and I said there was a special project that I'm gonna do with that pipe. So today I wanna show you in this video what I did with that pipe. For those of you who didn't see that video, uh, here's a quick clip of me uh, bringing it home. All right, everybody, good morning. Here you go, you can see what we bought. <laughs> it looks smaller on camera than it is in person. This is a 10 foot length of four foot tall pipe. We're gonna use that here uh, for our agritourism operation. We have a fun activity planned for that. We wanted to do it last year, but finding pipe was difficult enough and uh, the price of it was absolutely ridiculous. This would have been $1,000 last year, probably more this year. I found. So now that you've seen the pipe, let me show you what we're gonna do with it. So there you go guys, if you haven't guessed what it is yet, <laughs> we built, uh, they're called various different things, but uh, we're calling it a human hamster wheel. So you saw the clip of me riding along in the thing. For those of you who are not aware, we do uh, agritourism here on our farm. We have a pumpkin patch. You can see our uh, mini corn maze uh, right behind the hamster wheel there and we have all sorts of other farm activities that we do here in the fall and the weekends so this was something new that we added this year it was a bit of an experiment to try and figure out how to get it to work i'll show you a little bit here about that so yep this is a four foot diameter pipe a lot of people seem to use a five footer and i understand why uh you know for kids and shorter adults this is fine but uh, you know, for me being in there, it's a little bit tight, but we were not able to find a five foot diameter pipe. Uh, this one, as you saw in the previous clip, we got used. It was a 10 foot section, we cut it in half. So we actually have another five foot one of these if we wanted to make another one. Uh, but uh, trying to find a five foot diameter, buying a new one was out of the question. Um, you know, I, I think we were pushing almost two grand for a 10 foot section and that just was not in the budget um, because besides the pipe we had to buy all the lumber that goes along with this so we have our backstop on each side uh, everything's six by six lag bolted rebarred in the ground but we also have uh, kind of what we call like the the tracks of the unit so you can't see real well here but underneath each one of these two by sixes there are four by fours running on the ground and here's the top of one uh, before we put the mulch in it looked like a train track basically through here and then we added the two by six on top but where we struggled a little bit was finding the right size this is inch and a half diameter schedule 40 pipe and we struggled finding the correct diameter to fit in here uh, I thought it was going to be easy, but it wasn't because this is actually tapered. It's not straight walled sides. So being that these are tapered in, it was hard to find the right size to fit in there. So inch and a half fits pretty good. But the other thing we had to do uh, was in our experimentation here, trying to get this to work, we found out that we needed to make sure, I'm going to see if I can show you guys, there is actually a space between the pipe and the two by six. So this pipe does not ride on the two by six. So we had to get this underneath here is some PVC trim. It's like a vinyl trim and we ripped it down to, uh, I think it was about an inch wide strip and we put it underneath the uh, inch and a half schedule 40. And of course we have it clamped because what we found was happening without that in there and with this pipe being able to touch the two by six, it would wanna kinda of walk side to side. So we had to really get it up off the two by sixes. So it was an experiment. It took a while to figure out how to build the thing. You know, this is not a, a standard issue amusement ride that you're gonna find. So there's no you know, instructions on how to build one of these or what to do really. So 
Uh, but that's what we did with it. Uh, just a quick overview of one of the fun things that we added here, something a little bit different. And uh, just thought I'd share it with you guys because I thought it was kind of cool that it finally actually did work out. And anybody out there that is looking for ideas for a small farm, uh, we're going to get into a couple of videos coming up about uh, ideas for agritainment uh, on small farms. So we're going to touch on all different sorts of topics, not just fall activities. So stay tuned for that. You're going to want to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon. Let me know that you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Leave your questions, comments down below, and I hope to see you all on the next video.